Welcome to Trophy Taker Outdoors. I'm your host, Lee Sapiro. It's not just fishing. It's not just hunting. It's everything outdoors. Weather is really bad. So bad that we might uh, delay our trip today out of 10,000 islands. That gives us another day of fishing, maybe. We had a lot of fun catching snook in the 10,000 islands. and we're about to make our run to Isla Mirada into the Keys. We're just gonna drop off the gear. We're gonna head down south. We're at Port of the Isle, 10,000 Islands. We're gonna drop the uh, drone off and all our commercial camera equipment. We're filming because we're not allowed to film in the uh, National Park. And if we get caught with any type of uh, camera gear, we will get in a lot of trouble. So we're gonna drop them off here, then we're gonna meet them in the Keys. We're gonna take a run down, meet my son. He's gonna grab the camera equipment for us. And then we are going to head out and um, head, down, head down south. We're off, we are off. The trip down to Isla Mirada is going to take us about two and a half hours by boat. It's still very, very windy and we have to be very careful and take our time on our way down there. We just arrived in the Keys. Uh, we're over here fishing uh, near Marathon. We had to drop off our camera equipment because there's no way we could have any kind of uh, filming devices on the boat. Picked up the, uh, the equipment and so now we're here. We're doing a little bit of fishing. I mean, this is beautiful. If you have not been to the Keys, this is where you need to come. You can just do everything, diving, snorkeling, uh, fishing, um, boating, whatever. I mean, it's just absolutely awesome over here. The water is crystal clear, beautiful. Bring the family. It's, I just can't say enough about it. That is a trout. Oh yeah, look at it. We tried a couple of different baits, had a few snook and trout, but the wind was still pretty strong. 
making it tough to stay on the fish. So we didn't have much luck this afternoon, but we're gonna try again tomorrow. We're gonna get checked in at Angler House Marina and get settled in and relaxed for the rest of the evening. Hey guys, Lee with Trophy Taker Outdoors on our 500 mile fishing adventure. And we are in Alamorada right now at Angler House Marina. And we are here with Ray. How you doing, sir? Good. Good to have you here. Thank you for having us. Beautiful, beautiful place you got here. I mean, it's just, anytime I come to the Keys, I just want to stay here and live here forever. So, but it's absolutely beautiful here. Tell us a little bit about the marina and what you guys have to offer. We have a full service marina and provide for the backcountry destination. Right. So 36 backcountry guides are, make this home. Right here, right, right here, here at, at the, Right here at Angler House Marina. A, uh, a destination for anglers to come to, uh, to fish with some of the best guides in the Keys. And we've, uh, we're very proud of what we've created here. Uh, we also are a private club for the residents of, uh, of Alamorada. And uh, we have a lot of uh, the uh, uh, residents here that are members. Right. Also use the facility. We have houseboats available to, uh, to basically live on and for a weekend if they want to here, be here for a week, fish with one of our guides and uh, just have a great experience here in the Keys. It's absolutely beautiful. We were right on the water, right here in Alamorada. You have a tiki bar, you have a pool, you have, I mean, just, you have it all right here. This is, this is paradise. I mean, when we pulled in, you just, it, it's paradise. I mean, you, you guys did a phenomenal job here. It's absolutely beautiful. And, you know, I can't wait to come back, absolutely. Well, thank you, thank you. We're, we're, we're very proud of what we created. The anglers love it, and uh, people come here for that fishing destination and, and just fall in love with the, what, we've, what we have here. If you've never been to the Keys, you have to come, and you have to come to this marina. How can they get a hold of you guys? Uh, it's very simple. Uh, look at our website at www.anglerhousemarina.com. You can call us at 305-664-5247. Um, you can you can book our houseboat online. You can make uh, uh, reservations with one of our great captains online. Also, or just call us and talk to us about what we what we can do to help you make your stay here uh, very enjoyable and and make it a, uh, uh, a reality for you to be in the Keys. Do it that ahead of time. Oh, you guys. Yes, absolutely. Do it ahead of time. Yeah, things get booked up very fast down here, so. Don't, don't wait until, you know, Last two days minute. before yeah. you say, hey, I think I'll go down to the Keys. Well, give us a call and we'll, uh, we'll help you make your dream come true. Come out here and check it out. Ray, thank you very much. Oh, you're welcome. That. Good to have, have you here. Thank you very much. We're going to enjoy our evening with a few drinks, cool off at the pool, then get up early in the morning and hit the water. We really didn't get a chance to get any tips from the local guides on the leg of this trip. But the great thing about the Keys is that you can pretty much go anywhere and catch fish. You know, there are so many different species that you can catch here in the Keys. But this place is absolutely loaded with sharks. That's a big lemon shark.
you know, things are really starting to get exciting around here. You know, just by looking on my Raymarine, I found great contours and points to fish. It helped me get around and find fish. He's got it. He's got it. That might be a bonefish. Is he running pretty freaking hard? Yeah. Right there. What is it? What is it? Might be a jack. It's a jack. These things will eat anything. I mean, I threw, I'm, I'm using a fluke, a super fluke with a seven knot hook. And the reason I'm using a seven knot hook is it gives it a little bit heavier weight when I'm casting. I don't have any weights that I want to put on there to give it more of a natural look. So I'm using a, a seven knot hook with a super fluke. And this is what you got right here. Extra wide gap, super strong hook. My first jack in the Keys, I hate these fish. I'm not saying that they're they're a bad fish, I just don't like catching them, you know? So, he's talking to the camera, saying let me go, let me go. We're gonna let you go, buddy. But uh, beautiful fish, absolutely beautiful fish. We're gonna let this thing go, super strong fish. If you've never caught a jack, this. This is this fish here will put up a big, big fight. Um, but uh, we're gonna let him go and and move on to the next fish. Easy release. I was actually watching a uh, a stingray swim by, and I seen this jack just um, doing circles around him. And I, at first, I didn't know what it was. I threw up on there, and he just immediately ate it. But that's the kind of stuff we're looking for is, is fish like that. We just saw two lemon sharks come by here and you know you just got to keep an eye out and just a lot of sight fishing. I love sight fishing. How awesome was this? Yes, he's on it, he's on it, he got it. chasing the, the lemon shark or following the lemon shark. The lemon shark wasn't having anything about it, you know? I finally found a flat with about a three foot trough running along the edge of it and these tarpon were roaming up and down it. But with the windy conditions and the unexpected bite, we lost them.
after hours and hours of fishing, they get a little red and it comes off. Finally, get to hook into a bonefish, one of the key's most sought out fish. Definitely better than the jack. We're heading in and we just came off the uh, flat that we were just fishing in Ala Mirada. As much as I hate to leave, we have to get ready to go make the run to Boca Raton. I really enjoyed the time we had here in the Keys. Thank you to Angler House Marina in Ala Mirada. It's definitely one of my favorite destinations. You know, the Keys has so much to offer as a destination, whether you love to boat or fish. Visit the beach, shop or sightsee, even snorkel and dive. The Keys has so much to offer. You can visit Key West to the southernmost point, or you can even feed the tarpon at Robbie's. Well, our trip here in the Keys was short-lived. I really love this place. Everywhere you go, it's beautiful. It truly is one of the best destinations for an angler or the vacation with the family. We recently had Hurricane Irma come through and devastate the Keys. Our thoughts and prayers go out to the people affected from this storm. If you would like to help this beautiful destination and the people affected, you can go to trophytakeroutdoors.com and click on the link. Welcome to 
my buddies with my chest boat out. Fishing was good. 